Brad, welcome back to the Scotland squad. How's it Thank feel you. to be back involved? Yeah, it's nice, nice being back uh, north of the border. Um, it's been quite a while actually since I've been up here, about a year, but yeah, really nice to be back. How's it feel to be coming into a squad that, you know, they were out in Zimbabwe and obviously put in so many performances beating three full member sides I think that night. Yeah I was I was glued to it personally um, I was watching pretty much all the games that I could um, sort of cheering the boys on I felt like a bit of a cheerleader on what's that oh, well bowl so and so well batted you know great win um, and yeah it, it sort of led to really wanting to be part of this as well um, and obviously a great opportunity now going ahead to qualify for next year's T20 World Cup. How sort of happy are you with where you're on the game has been that so far this summer? Uh, yeah, reasonably. Um, I think the ball's been coming out nicely. Um, probably more so in the white ball game than the red ball. Red ball opportunities have been a little bit limited, but um, still sort of just striving to get as many games as possible. Um, but the blast was, it, it was a blast, uh, excuse the pun, but yeah, you know, it was so much fun. Um, a new experience and actually a lot learned with the players that I was playing with, uh, under the pressure, under lights like crowds so yeah it was it was an awesome experience. Yeah you mentioned the players you were playing with guys like Tamar Mills, Joel Scarton who cleared international cricket. What was it like playing with them and being able to learn from them? You no, know, it was it was so relaxing having having Mills at sort of mid off, mid on next to you. Um, just having his knowledge in in, in like things little sim, simple things like the analysis meeting. He'd be there going, yeah, this guy does that, this guy does that, this one rams, so you probably want to find out. Like stuff like really simple stuff, like he's got it all to a T. Um, and I'll be out there at mid off with him, like, what do you think? And there, get slipping, or, you know, bring him up. And it's so nice to just sort of have that calming influence. Um, also to know that, you know, as the sort of competition went on, doing that sort of myself um, and going to him rather than him having to come to me. And, but, and it goes for the whole team around, you know, the, the experience in it, like Papara as well, having him as captain was, I don't know, was definitely the most chilled guy. I think his resting heart around the pitch was about 60. Is that you know, give you some new things that you can then bring into this, this Scotland squad and you know, it'll help yourself that you can bring to the, the wider group as well? Yeah, I hope so. I mean, I think the main learning I got from those games was probably some more role clarity and knowing what I bring to the table um, and what my strengths are and, and still things to work on. Um, but yeah, I think having had that and come pretty much straight off the back of that and into this, this tournament now should be quite helpful. I can hopefully extend those skills that I've shown. And we can't really talk about the blast without talking about that catch against <laughs> I knew it would come Hampshire, up. <laughs> I suppose. Um, just talk us through that moment and, and what that was like for you like, I, during it and, and the reaction afterwards. I still don't even know how to put it properly into words. Um, it was pure instinct, that is for sure. Um, I think it was one of them where the stars aligned, downhill to my left side, perfect amount of strides in. Um, yeah, and then there's the celebration afterwards and told was was poor for what had, what had happened, um, and I, I, I agree. Um, but I just didn't know what had happened. The crowd was a bit like, really? Um, but I think the best part was their reaction when it went up on the big screen. Just heard a collective like, oh my god. Uh, around the ground, it was yeah, it was quite something. We're looking to recreate that this week in Edinburgh. Oh, yeah, no, it, I'm I'm in real danger of dropping an absolute clanger, aren't I? And then everyone be like, that was a fluke, wasn't it? But yeah, it'd be nice to do something uh, something similar with with ball or in the field. We're playing against you know, a number of sides who, not just you, but a lot, a lot of the team won't have faced before in, mm. in this tournament. It's a challenge because we'll have to, there'll be a little bit of thinking on our feet during the game and T20 is such a fast moving game already, um, you know some bloke comes out and starts carving everything over point or hacks everything to leg side and, and the analysis, we didn't have anything on him or it was that it was, he would go offside and he's hitting everything leg side then yeah, it would just be quick plans, um, but hopefully we can sort of stick to our plans and dictate the games our way rather than have it dictated to us. Ah.